Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11, and today I'm bringing you the disassembly, cleaning, reassembly uh, of the Remington 710 uh, bolt action bolt mechanism and firing pin. Uh, there's really not a lot of videos online uh, for this particular procedure. There's a few, but the lighting in those videos maybe isn't so good that you can really see what you're doing. And if you're the kind of person who's like me that learns better from watching others do something rather than trying to read through an instruction manual, then this is definitely going to be the video for you. Um, there's going to be some basic supplies that you're going to need uh, to do this. And I'm assuming that this uh, disassembly is going to be the same procedure for all Remington 710s. Um, I, I, you know, I've got a 243, and this gun was chambered in several different um, for se several different rounds. And so there's there's a chance that there might be some slight variances between what I'm about to show you and uh, and what your gun may do. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we want to verify that the firearm is in fact unloaded. Okay, so we'll pull back the bolt. No rounds in the magazine. No rounds in the chamber. Okay, it is empty. You can go ahead and leave the magazine in the gun. Obviously, you want to make sure that it's unloaded when you do so. Now, to get the bolt out of the gun on a lot of firearms, uh, a lot of the times all you have to do is maybe uh, push a button and pull down on the trigger and pull back on the bolt mechanism. Well, for this gun, uh, what you want to do is flip it around. And again, we're working in my kitchen because we're going to be in two different uh, working surfaces here. And towards the rear of the receiver, you've got this little uh, little lever, okay, lever, whatever you want to call it. Okay, all you have to do, guys, is just flip the lever up, lever up, lever up, whatever you want to call it, right? And then just make sure that your bolt is up, and then just pull back, and your bolt is just going to come right out. Okay, so now the bolt is out of the gun. So I'm going to put the bolt over here on the other counter. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, flip the rifle back around. Now, I've already cleaned this bolt one time. And I did actually refer to the Remington instruction manual just because bolts can sometimes be a little bit intimidating if you haven't disassembled them. If you've ever done a uh, Mosin Nagant bolt before, then you know that you know you really have to be careful how you do it, especially when it comes to taking a firing pin out and so on. Now, we don't have to get that complicated for this particular cleaning, uh, but there are going to be some basics that you're going to need to get this job done. Okay, You're going to want some Q-tips. You may or may not need some sort of a center punch set. I mean, you can get by on other things, but I highly recommend you have one of those. We've got some rem oil, some CLP, some pre-cut, just large patches out of a t-shirt, a nice uh, soft brass uh, or bristle brush. You can also get by, say, on a 20-gauge bristle brush or maybe a 20-gauge um, barrel mop or whatever those are called. I've actually got a pistol uh, cleaning handle with a patch ready to go. Pair of pliers. Now, this is according to the instruction manual. You do have to use a pair of pliers for this procedure. I'm not able to do it with my hands. And then just uh, over here on the right, I've got a computer that has the uh, instruction manual ready to go because I'll use it as a uh, reference for some of the parts. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and show you what the actual procedure is going to consist of. Now, as you guys know, if you watch any of my videos, my gun does not do, or my gun, my camera does not do close ups very well. So this is going to be a little bit. Uh, awkward when we uh, take this apart and reassemble it, but it's really not that hard to do. The nice thing about this gun is it's so worn out, I can actually see the the wear on the, uh, the, the bolt here, on the actual bolt body itself, so I can see where stuff is going to line up when I reassemble it. So, first thing we have to do is we want to take the bolt plug and the firing pin assembly, and uh, you want to get yourself a, a patch. Okay, let's make sure this is in the camera here. Okay, grab yourself a nice patch. There we go. And uh, just put that over the back of the, of the bolt head assembly, the bolt plug, okay? And then grab yourself your pair of pliers, make sure they're on kind of a wide setting, and you're going to use these inside teeth of the pliers to do this. And all you're going to do is make sure that one part of those teeth rests on the back of the bolt plug, and the other part sits right here on the firing pin assembly, okay? And we're just going to click up, and then we're just going to rotate a little bit uh, clockwise. We're going to rotate a little bit off this way to your left, okay? So get them in there, just pull up, rotate, and then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to separate the firing pin mechanism from the bolt head body. And it locks into place. There's little grooves in the top of the bolt body where this particular washer right here is going to fit right in. It can only go in one way, so you really can't screw it up when you reassemble it. And there's two little tiny notches that I'll show you in more detail when we reassemble it. You need to take into consideration when you take it apart. So you simply turn it about an eighth of a turn. Pull back, and your firing pin mechanism is going to be separated from the bolt body itself. Okay, let's do a little adjustment here and zoom in for you. All right. Now, at this point, uh, we can go ahead and get started uh, doing the cleaning. Okay, so 
What, what you need to remember about a bolt mechanism, guys, it's not something you have to keep heavily lubricated. In fact, you don't want to. If you do, you can start to get some uh, excessive fouling and start to run into light primer strikes or misfires. And that's definitely something we don't want. So what you want to do is you can just go ahead and spray the mechanism down with some rim oil or whatever cleaner you like to use. Okay, just go ahead and let that soak. We can go ahead and just spray the bolt body down. Okay, there's one more step in the bolt body that we need to do uh, before we uh, continue to disassembly. But anyway, and I actually used a CLP on this because it was in. It was it was it was fairly fairly mucked up with carbon and fouling and uh, grease and so on. But I'll tell you guys. On this 710, once you go through and do this procedure and you give a nice light coat of lube to these particular parts of the gun, you're going to find the action getting a lot smoother and uh, a lot easier to operate. So, and again, I had a little bit of uh, crud that, that's not coming off of mine. I always call it crud in my videos. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give the bolt mechanism just a light little lubricant, you know, a little bit of, little bit of oil here so I can see that it's lubricated. Nice thing about REM oil, guys, is that it has a tendency to... Um, uh, dry and just and leave just a nice protective finish, but not something that's excessively greasy. One thing I also did when I was disassembling this and cleaning it, let me keep checking my viewfinder from time to time. Just run a Q-tip in here, just kind of get. There might be some some a uh, little bit of crud that gets back there too, so you want to get that out. I also ran it in these two little holes up here on the top. Okay, just kind of put your Q-tip in there and make sure that that's nice and clean. Okay, just kind of run that through there. Just make sure everything's got a nice little protective coat. Now, there's one more step we have to do, and this really is not that complicated. You've got your bolt body here, okay? And what we have to do is we have to take out this uh, bolt pin, I believe is what they call it. You've got the bolt body, the bolt body, you've got the uh, bolt head, and then the bolt head pin that's going to come out. And uh, there's a certain way that all this has to line up when you reassemble it. It's really not that hard to do. So, um, one thing I like to do is just kind of make a note where your extractor is. Your extractor is right here. Let's let that get in focus here. On the left side, you've got this little extractor spring, I guess you can call it. Um, you want to make sure that that spring and the actual pin itself are basically, uh, what, 90 degrees from each other. Okay, just basically you can make an L shape with the pin and that little extractor spring right there. Okay, uh, for me, all I have to do is just pull this little bolt pin out, pull off the bolt head, and that's it. And you can start to, you can continue doing your cleaning. Uh, you want to make sure you've got a nice little coat of uh, protective oil on the bolt head. So you want to just kind of wipe it off. You can go through it with a Q-tip if you want to and all the little holes and surfaces. I try to make sure that this part is especially dry where the firing pin mechanism is going to come through, where the firing pin is going to come through. You want to make sure these little cams or lugs, whatever you want to call them, that they've got um, a little bit of uh, oil on them so they're nice and lubed up. Okay, and then the bolt body itself, okay, you can also wipe off the... Uh, the bolt pin here. Okay. Oops. Just give that a little cleaning so that's been then cleaned off. And this stuff is is uh, is really clean already because again I've already taken care of it one time. Uh, also, go ahead and you can run some CLP through this the first time, and then I'm just going to spray some rim oil because I've already cleaned this uh, before. And then just run your bore brush through it a couple times. Just go ahead and just you know go both sides. Get that through there. And just uh, that'll break up any carbon or any kind of billet that's been inside that bolt head. It'll get any of that grease loosened up, okay? And then go ahead and take your uh, dry patch, okay, from your pistol cleaning rod and just run it through the assembly, okay, a couple times. And you can see I'm, I'm still pulling out stuff. Even though I've already cleaned this uh, bolt assembly one time, there's still stuff coming out of it. So I wanted this action as smooth as possible because that's one of the most critical that's one of the criticisms that people have about this rifle is that the action is overly stiff and it's it's not as smooth as it could be, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is just take and uh, spray a little bit of rim oil, okay, right here on a patch, okay, just so it's it's just light, okay, light coating, nothing nothing real extreme, nothing greasy, and again these are just patches that I make out of t-shirts, so these are very uh, irregular or whatever you want to call it. You can use nice little square patches if you want to. It's really not a big deal. Let's go ahead and weave this through here. Okay, so I've got my patch ready to go. Just go ahead and run it through the uh, bolt here, through the bolt body itself a couple times. And if you look in the bolt body, you should have, let's pull that out, let's pull that off right there. You should have a nice little, you know, slick, it should be nice and clean all the way through. And I know it's gonna probably be out of focus, but there you go. It should be nice and clean all the way through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, reassemble everything and put it back together because I think you get the basics of what you have to do, right? So we want to take the bolt body, 
you want to take the bolt head and this little hole right here on the top and then you can see where my handle is okay you want to make sure that that hole and that's your bolt head go together like this okay and you want to make sure that you've got your little extractor in the top right and your bolt handles on the well on your left on the camera okay all right and then just go ahead and your pin this is almost like an ar-15 this little cam pin or whatever you want to call it this little bolt pin uh, you can't see it worth a darn uh, that hole right there you need to make sure that when you insert it let's get this in focus that you insert it so that that hole you can basically see all the way through it if you were to look all the way through the bolt itself okay if you do that correctly and you can see through it then you know that you've done it the right way it has to be that way guys otherwise the firing pin is not gonna go in there properly okay so now what we want to do is go ahead and take the flip the bolt over okay so that make sure you keep your finger on that little pin so it doesn't fall out okay you got your handle basically right here now you've got like a full cock notch and a half cock notch on the top here and when you reassemble it you're gonna want to make sure that this little tiny divot right here that that's where the uh, bolt what do they call it? the firing pin assembly or the firing pin notch or latch rests when you put it back together okay and again it's only gonna go one way there's these little uh, ovals that are cut in the back of the bolt body okay and it, you can only put the firing pin assembly back together one way I guess you could technically do it upside down and that's something that you'd want to watch out for so again I'm just gonna give this one last little coat of rem oil just to make sure that it's uh, ready to go and uh, you know you might want to do this a couple times just to become a little more familiar with it do not disassemble this spring assembly firing pin any more than what you see in this video okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and just start to put everything back together just go ahead and it's only gonna go in basically one way when you reassemble it okay there we go so you can just kind of see that uh, how we're sitting right now okay there we go okay so nothing it's not it's not locked in it's just this is the only way that you can go now what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to take those pliers again with the patch on the back and squeeze and then twist a little bit over so that this little notch rests right here and if you're done you should not be able to pull the mechanism back apart okay so we're gonna go ahead and do that let's put our patch on the back of here now guys I'm doing this in real time with no editing so there's always the possibility that uh, you know, this could be uh, there could be some mistakes here when I do this but again we're gonna find out when we're done so we're gonna go ahead and squeeze it back together make sure you got those those big thick uh, okay teeth of your pliers resting on the top and resting on the knob itself okay go ahead and squeeze and it'll all collapse back down and then just release and it should be sitting let me go ahead and give you a little zoom in here you did it the right way it's going to be locked together and it's going to fit just like that okay make sure you're not in the big notch over here but you're in the little notch and there's a little chunk of something coming off here it's really no big deal but anyway you're not going to mess this part up with pliers so don't worry about it and i put the patch on the back of it i've already kind of scratched it up a little bit but really it's not that big of a deal so all right so then if we did this the right way we can kind of look things over again okay as we saw before We've got the pin up on the top right here, okay, a little pinhole on the top. We've got this little extractor spring on the right side, just as it was before we disassembled it, okay, no surprises. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, put a little light coat of oil on the bolt body itself. If you guys can see that, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off so that it's nice and smooth. The inside of my receiver, uh, inside where the uh, uh, rounds are gonna load, has already been cleaned and it's already been lubricated so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and turn the uh, camera around okay and we will show you how to put this back together and i'm telling you guys the action on these things when you give them a good cleaning and i just wonder how often people really do that you're going to be you know amazed at how much smoother the action is it still takes a little bit of uh effort to lock it back in there but it's really not that big of a deal i mean compared to other rifles that I've used before so again make sure that the little lever okay on the opposite side of the receiver is up otherwise your bolts not going to go back in okay we're going to go ahead and just slide the bolt back in okay look how smooth that is nice and smooth right and uh, again make sure that you are in fact empty okay should not have anything in there go ahead and just pull your bolt down I mean look at this look at this look at this I mean that Guys were complaining back in the day. It takes a little effort to lock it, but man, it's really not that big of a deal, guys. You know, just if you're holding it, especially with two hands. 
smooth, man. I mean, seriously, I really don't understand why people criticize this gun so much. Go ahead and uh, dry fire to ensure that you did put everything back together. Okay, we're good to go, and that's it. This thing's set for like a two and a half pound trigger. The guy that owned it before me used it uh, for deer hunting uh, quite a bit. And uh, it is set up with a very light trigger. I mean, I'm not gonna put my finger on the trigger until I am in fact ready to shoot this gun. So I always like to wipe stuff off with a patch. And uh, that's basically it, guys. That's all it comes down to. So we'll see how this video renders and hopefully I won't have to do it over for you. But, um, you know, feel free to share any experiences you might have with this firearm or this bolt uh, in the video. Or if you have any advice for things that we could do differently, please let me know. You know, you can always give that bolt a lot more of a scrub down with brushes and patches and CLP and degreaser and all that fun stuff. Um, I just used CLP and let everything kind of soak for a while. I wiped it all off with patches. And uh, after that, it was pretty much uh, good to go. So there you go. Kind of looks nice in the kitchen, doesn't it? Definitely dresses things up really well. I'm starting to call the kitchen man cave number three uh, because I do so many of my videos in the kitchen. Um, but anyway, there you have it, guys. A simple takedown, disassembly, reassembly of the bolt for the Remington 710. Uh, hopefully, I didn't chat your ears off the whole time, but that's all it really takes. So if you pick one of these up used, definitely get that bolt taken apart and cleaned out. Definitely go through and clean out the barrel. Wipe out the inside of the receiver. Consider taking apart the magazine, cleaning that out. Take the whole gun apart, and maybe I'll do a complete disassembly and cleaning at some point because I've already done it once. But I'd never done it before, so I didn't want to put that on camera in case I ran into any complications. But it's really not hard to take apart. And the fact that your optics, you know, stay mounted to your receiver means that if you take it apart and reassemble it, should not have too much of an effect on accuracy. This is more or less a free-floated barrel. You have very little, if any, of the barrel that touches the stock itself when you reassemble it. Um, so, yeah, if you can pick one of these up for a couple hundred bucks, man, they make a nice just all-around uh, deer gun or beater gun. Now we'll see how this actually performs at the range, but given the uh, the lineage or the history of this gun and what it has in fact harvested for deer, I have no doubt in my mind that it's going to function well and it's going to take care of my needs. So there you go, guys. This is Travis P11. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for checking out the channel. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I don't do a lot of instructional videos on cleaning, but really it's not that complicated. It's not that hard to do. Kind of gives me some ideas for future videos. Uh, please like or subscribe. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, and all the information will be in the bottom of the video. Uh, you can check me out over on the Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel on GunChannels.com. And I'm hoping at some point, it's probably going to be a few days before I get another video out, guys, but I'm hoping at some point I can get this bad boy to the range. I need to pick up some ammo for it, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so basically, late firearm season for deer starts tomorrow in Nebraska, so it's a little hard to come by 243 ammo right now, especially stuff that's not uber premium. If I just want some good you know, target range grade ammo, it's a little hard to come by, so enough of my problems. All right, you guys, have a great new year. Okay, have a great holiday. Uh, relax, take it easy, enjoy, spend time with family and friends. Um, and as always, guys, have fun, be safe, and we will talk to you soon. Goodbye.